right, welcome back to uh, coverage of Grand Open Milan. Uh, we will be having a quick look at our metagame breakdown before heading into our round four feature match. As you uh, see on the yep. nicely made tripod, um, we have almost 75% zoo yeah. so in some way or another. A little bit less than I guessed in the beginning. When we were looking through the deck list, it seemed like more, but uh, 75 is still a lot. Yeah, but there's always some casual players. Uh, who won't play where is decks. it? Where is our metagame? Our pie chart is gone. Mario? He's weg. One second. Did you expect Kaiju Zodiac to be the most popular? Kind of, yeah. Yeah. I was... I was Why? I, I don't know. It's, like it's, it's a mix between... Uh, I think... If you're expecting a lot of Draco Zoo, uh, you want Kaijus in your deck. Yeah. And then also Draco Zoo is a lot more expensive. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, a, that's a good reason. I, w I wasn't sure which one would be more popular between Kaiju Zoo and Pure Zoo, but apparently people are a little bit afraid of Masterpiece, which they should be. So Yeah, but if you look at the deck list, the only difference between Kaiju Zoo and Pure Zoo is playing more hand traps. Most Kaiju yeah. Zoo builds play 7 hand traps and like 6 Kaijus, yeah. and the Pure Zoo decks play 13 hand traps. Yeah. And what do you think of Dinosaur and uh, pure True Draco? Well, 8% Dinosaur is a lot, but the deck is relatively cheap in comparison. Yeah. Uh, and and like uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like, I mean, 8% is not much, so I would say it's about as expected for a deck that is pretty good, but not the best deck, apparently. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's just that's that's the number I think is about expected. Do you think uh, the numbers will be the same at other tournaments like the German National? I think it's comparable okay. to what we can expect, yeah. Uh, I think it will vary more in like tech card choices in Zodiac, you know. But yeah, I don't know why our pie chart keeps on going away, but whatever. Yeah, uh, the next round will be up soon. They are already sitting at the table and we just told our judge to start. Tell them to start? Yeah. Okay. So uh, we can switch to our feature match cam now. Yeah, there we go. So our beautiful mats are gone, yep. and we are featuring table four, I think, or table yeah. two. Uh, they are both undefeated. Yes, three zero. And I don't know which deck they are playing, but probably we Zodiac. both don't know the decks. Uh, but I'm seeing Zoo on the bottom, I think. And zoo on the top. And zoo on the top, of course. Okay. What do you think of the playmat? Because we have nothing else to do. That's the zoo uh, combo. Yeah. Oh, it's a uh, Thoroughblade normal summon. That's different. What's so the correct number of Thoroughblades in your deck? Uh, one or two. <laughs> yeah, probably. I s see some people, they use like Thoroughblade effect three times in one turn. They summon it, and they I mean summon I it I again. Really with I really like the card because it like it can fix hands where you draw too many zoos. But at the same time, it's table four. Yeah. Uh, what was I about to say? Th I was about to say that like Thoroughblade is an, is a card that can fix the number of zoos in your hand because you can cycle zoos. But at the same time, it allows you to play a high zoo count, which which can be important in resource uh, games. Yeah. Also, the one six attack it's it's very important to yeah, end of course. games. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I think I like two in pure, one in Draco versions. I think that's a good number for now. And talking of Zodiacs, uh, what do you think of Ram Ram? Is it a one off or maybe a two off? Uh, I think in in pure it's a one off. Uh, okay. I, I don't see much reason to play two. I you don't necessarily want to draw it. Uh, you don't have good w ways to use it from hand. All you want is sending sending it with rat. So watching through the Pittsburgh decklist, uh, people mentioned they want to cut Whiptail to one or two in Draco versions, mm -hmm. and even in pure versions, they want to cut it down to two. Mm, I think two is understandable. Yeah, Simply probably the worst normal sum. Of yeah, Zoo, yeah, Zoo just has uh, an issue with drawing too many normal summons, and uh, I don't think. Whiptail is as important as a resource as it used to be, so uh, 
think two can be fine, definitely. I'm not saying it's correct to cut down on two, it just yeah. it could be. So it's the standard zoo combo, no hand traps. And he's only playing one few and substitute, I think. Yeah, it seems so. Do you think it's correct to summon Dryden with two materials and uh, waste the Hammer Kong? Mm. He doesn't have combo in Grave, right? No, he doesn't. Um, it's an interesting it's question. Unlikely. Probably not, honestly. It depends on his back row. If his back row is good, he might be able to make it survive. Then that's fine. Okay. My thought is if Dryden survives, you'll probably win anyway. That's also true, yeah. And if Dryden doesn't survive, you wasted the Hammer Kong. So, did he announce effect? Yeah. yeah. Pitches combo. Drone Lockbird. Uh, probably not as good here. Why? Just because the, the turn was unlikely to have more stuff going on anyways. Like yeah, but he could have had like a terror top. Yeah. First bait out yeah. the Dryden with uh, the throw blade and then summon red with terror top. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. And even well, if... Now it turns out that his... Uh, Draw bird, okay. <laughs> him keeping the material now actually pays off. You think it's already game over because um, well, if he the only if can the have like uh, one hand trap. If the back row is torrential, it's not over, but I don't think it is. So uh, no torrential. So the M roll is gonna resolve as well again, I think. Um, do you think it's correct to summon Broadbull before baiting out a potential barrier? Because if he lets Trident uh, on the field, he can maybe have a whip tail for next turn and keep the Trident on board. Well, if he does have a whip tail, I'd say you're right. If he doesn't, then I think it's okay to just go for it. Because uh, keeping the material under Emerald can actually be very good for recycling resources. What I saw a lot of Su players do, they... Um, Attach materials to Emerald or Tornado Dragon with um, Tiger Mortar. Yeah, I mean, why not? It's a really good way of doing it. Yeah, and s I think many people don't play around it, so because they simply don't realize it can do that. Yeah. So yeah, the Emerald does resolve twice, and I see a bunch of hand traps in his hand. I, I think, think he has two Ash, Ghost Ogre, and Drone Lockbird. Is yeah, I think there were, there were two Drone Lockbirds. Oh. Um, at this point, you have to play around Mirror Force, I guess, because that's the only thing you can lose to. Yeah, you can lose to stuff like Mirror Force. Uh, I guess Apocrypha could be really good, if he's if that's still a thing. Not sure if anyone is still playing it. Not playing it again. Yeah. Mm. So, do you think any ring throws a staple in Zujek right now, except Emerald, like um, Tornado Dragon or Dweller? Uh, or I've seen a lot else. of builds that actually don't play any other rank fours and just go for Triple Bull, Triple Dryden. Uh, I am a fan of. Tornado Dragon though. Yeah, I like I it a lot. I think it's also a really good defensive card against any deck that has like Diagram or Zoo in general. Like yeah, every deck is playing Barrage or Diagram. Tanky, Barrage, Diagram. Even just uh, Heritage can be a decent pop sometimes to prevent the extra normal summon. Yeah, if you don't have uh, any relevant back row yeah. because you're playing As we see from him here, he actu he's actually playing Gaga Samurai. So, uh... 
He decided for that. There's another force. He loses. And there's a ghost ogre. Okay, there. You just have uh, that. My body, though. Throwback to YCS Prague. I think where even further back. Where, sam YCS. where samurai and my what body were. What was the first YCS and um, zoo format in America? I think it was Seattle. It c could be. Yeah. That's like b back then everybody was playing a uh, samurai and uh, my body because it was played in the OCG. I mean, it was kind of staple in 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 zoo back then. Yeah. So yeah. And my body, uh, I think, has some some relevance this format because just like. It's still the same. It's like Dryden everywhere. Ghost Ogre is also popular, so why not? Yeah, and uh, Hammer Kong makes it stronger than Chalice when you go second. But I don't know how well I want Hammer Kong is. So there's the Tanky. I don't think you pop Tanky. Yeah, me neither. Because it doesn't take out a summon. You can just, yeah, you can just pop the normal summon. And he has drawn Lockbird in hand, so he actually wants him to search. He disagrees, though. He's like, that tanky's ultimate, so you pop it. <laughs> <laughs> and there's the rat normal summon. But he has Ghost Ogre. He has Ghost Ogre, Ghost Ash, and drawn Lockbird, so... I don't think you ghost Ash here because it doesn't do anything if he. You can ghost Ash and ghost Ogre. <laughs> no, you can't, right? Can no, you, you can't. No, you can't. Not on the same, yeah. Yeah, now he just goes into Tiger Mortar and then. Then he goes to Ogre. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, scoop. Yeah, I don't think. Uh, he could have won that game. Like yep. There wasn't any apparent mistake. I mean, he he played against Zubord plus five ant traps and Roll Lockbird on his first search. Yeah. Not much you can do about that. That's just what Zoo is sometimes. So the face down card was tanky. The yep. card she said. So from, I think Lorenzo is on the bottom. Uh, I saw three Gamma Shields in his side deck. What do you think about just siding Gamma Shields instead of Slumbers? It's like back in the day. Yeah, but why wouldn't you side Darkhold instead? Over Gamma Shield? Yeah. Well, because Darkhold doesn't always out Masterpiece. But uh, he isn't playing Masterpiece. Well, not now, but yeah. he might be siding it against uh, Draco. I think uh, siding Gamma Seal is better than Kaiju Slumber. I'm not a fan of Kaiju Slumber in general, like in any format. I think it's always wrong to play Kaiju Slumber. Because <laughs> depending on the format, you on, uh, you want the Kaijus because the monsters are too hard to out. Yeah. Or you want the board wipe because there are too many things at the same time on the board. Yeah. And playing Kaiju Slumber makes you always play one sub up small draw. Mm -hmm. Either Kaiju Slumber is bad or the, slumber, uh, the Kaiju Slumber well, it's not. Bad. it's not like impossible to imagine a format where both is good. A yeah. board wipe and a Kaiju. But yeah. In general, I agree. You don't always have to play both. I think it was correct when um, the barrier was everywhere because you at least you had like the 3000 guy yeah. on your board. Um, it was stronger back then. Like in and the very beginning of Zoo format. Yeah. And right now, um, there's also Ghost Ash. Why would you play a card that, ca that can be stopped by a hand trap? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fair enough. So I'm guessing Fabio is going to begin. Probably. If Fabio is the, the the guy on the top, I actually don't know. <laughs> we'll find out. Yeah. Tuck it and work first card. Nice. But he has Terratop. Yeah, he does have Flying Sea, so there is a chance that... Uh, yeah, there's a chance. Do you like Cosmic Cyclone? Uh, in general, yes. In the Mirror Mage? No. I think it's... 
a waste of 1000 life points. Going first, I think it's good. Yeah, but MST would still be... Okay, okay, you yeah, are... Yeah, well, MST is better in the mirror, but you can't... You, yeah. you still can't, like, play MST because Cosmic is so much better in other matchups. Yeah. And uh, unless you have room for both to decide in the mirror, I think it's fine to just side Cosmic. There's the barrage. And that's why flying C is the most... That's, like, so risky. You're just, like... It's all or nothing. It's not just a minus one, but he also gets to keep the barrage, so it's like even better for yeah. him. It's like, yeah, nice. So now he's going second with five cards against the same opening that his opponent would have had anyways, plus the barrage stays on board. And uh, we see him actually still playing Totem Bird. I saw some list cutting Totem Bird. Yeah. I think he can scoop right now. Probably. I mean, he has Taketum work, so he's F essentially only going to be playing with four cards. Yeah. Like, he shouldn't scoop because there's no reason to scoop, but the game is over. Probably. Most likely, yes. Time is not a factor right now. So <laughs> and his opponent also knows his deck, so... We see Book of Moon in his deck. What do you think about Book of Moon? It's okay. It's probably. I think it's better than Chalice in the mirror match because putting a Zodiac face down is better than negating the effect. And it also deals with um, Flying Sea. So if you go first and you have uh, Brook of Moon on the Flying Sea, you can s continue playing. Well, we're just seeing him combo off completely now. So how's the weather? <laughs> how's school? Any relevant topics? No. Um. Did he use Fusion Sub? Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did use one Fusion Sub so far. And he already shuffled in with Emerald and he did not shuffle in Black Sheep, so he probably only runs one. Or drew the second one. Oh yeah, that's right, he still has normal. He just went Terror Top Barrage. Or oh, discard combo. It's actually the one situation where you like drawing combo if you have Thoroughblade with it. It's pretty good. Uh bowl. Okay. I think. Maybe he missed the uh, Lunar Light. And he also has my body, so it's very unlikely. No dark holes. Yeah, dark hole isn't, go isn't resolving anyway because there's Totem Bird, but right now he can also let. Um, Did he forget to make Dryden? <laughs> it's not necessary if you he open like that. He forgot to make Dryden, right? Yeah, but it's not necessary. Yeah, because but he, he forgot has, to make he Dryden. He has everything he doesn't need. Yeah, but he forgot to make Dryden. Yeah, but he doesn't need it. He forgot to make Dryden. That's actually... Yeah, that's disrespect right there. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. He probably deserves losing He right deserves now. this ba for this backer to be like nothing. Yeah, right we know one back row is uh, my body. It, does yeah. it doesn't stop him from growing five cards. Ah, oh, barrier, yeah, that's why he doesn't need Dryden. <laughs> Dryden has no effect on the barrier anyways, duh. He's uh, keeping the resources in the extra deck. Yeah, because you will need them. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's 100% correct. Yeah. Smart. And he's laughing. Yeah, he's laughing. Sometimes, sometimes it's nice to see the face cam. He's laughing because uh, he tricked him so hard. Such a smart guy. Yeah. No spells. Th no. You see, it died anyways. So smart. 
so good. Now he has all his tridents left for, for future turns. But he can't use Zudia combo. This game's over, right? Yeah. I think Lorenzo drew an Ash last turn. But it won't. It won't save him. So this is a, that's the thing with all these hand traps. They're so mediocre when you draw mid game, usually. Ghost Ogre can be pretty good in flanks. Um, I think they're. Yeah, like which I didn't see this. Probably the worst because it becomes dead after turn one. Yeah. And let's see if he's making Dryden this turn. Flying C becomes better as the game goes on because it's more unlikely to, uh, for your opponent the to have yeah. I think it's th it was still incorrect to not summon Dryden because he has combo and grave. Of course it was incorrect, I was, j I was joking. Yeah, but he has combo and grave, so he could have thrown a card if he puts Dryden under Broadbull. Dryden under Broadbull, yeah. That would have been the most disrespectful. <laughs> Just make Dryden first and then bow on it and pass. And then flip barrier in standby. So he's not killing him. Wow. No, because he wants to take another turn of not summoning Dryden and just passing and still winning. Maybe he wants to have a draw. Huh? Maybe he wants to have a draw. He plays slowly and if the game ends on 1-1 one, one, he gets one point. Because he expects to lose game 3. Yeah. Like. <laughs> oh, there's yeah. Dryden. Do you think he's gonna make bow on it? <laughs> no. No. Like, uh, how many materials does Borbo need to end the game? Like eight? No, like eighty. Eighty. <laughs> I don't know. See, now he lost to the Dryden, because he summoned it one turn later. Yeah. Maybe he, he only has one, he has to keep yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't need it the turn before. Dryden prices are rising again. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe he sights them out for the mirror. Yeah, Totem Bird for going yeah, first. Yeah. So we see one person side decking, he's siding out flying seas to run lockburst and chalice when he goes first. Mm -hmm. And he's also siding out Zudia combo. Is he siding in chalice or out chalice? Out. Yeah. But I think it's better to keep chalice and then to keep Well cycling. if your opponent's not making Dryden anyways, you might as well side out chalice. What are you going to chalice? Bobo. Bobo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Necro Valley in his side deck. Interesting. What do you think that's for? Paleo? Tricky Revival? <laughs> yeah. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Well, it must be against Paleo, right? Yeah, but... There are better side deck cards against Paleo. Yeah, he he can't even search the Necro Valley. He has to draw it. He doesn't play Terraforming. Yeah. But so you have to draw Terraforming as well. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I don't know. Maybe he just really thinks Necro Valley is the shit against Paleo. It's pretty good. It's okay. It, it also doesn't really work against Dinosaurs. It stops Miscellaneousaurus and the second effect of Obi Raptor, but it doesn't stop any of the babies. Yeah, that's why he's probably not siding it against Dino. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, so... Uh it's 1 1 now. Maybe you can update that on the scoreboard. Or we can just delete the names completely. <laughs> so, Rat, Whiptail, Barrier, My Body, some monster. Ah, oh, Thoroughblade, okay. Drew Barrage, right? I think so. Okay, no hand traps so far. Doesn't he does have outs for Ghost Ogre and Flying C, though, anyways. Yeah, the only thing that could stop him right now is uh, with Chaliating C. Uses Black Sheep to search Substitute. Nice combo. Oh, there it is. Super rare. Just have the retaliating C. Nice. It's gonna make it a little bit more interesting here. Yeah, but so out of all the hand trusts we've seen today in all the zoomers, what do you think has worked the best? Um, Maxi, of course. But oh, <laughs> of course. Um, outside of that, I think retaliating C is the best against yeah. Zoo specifically. Um, if you're playing against other decks, like anything that plays Diagram, Ghost Ogre is probably better because it has the most application. It does something against every deck mm -hmm. and in every stage of the game. Yeah. But uh, if you're looking at the turn one combo specifically, there's no way to play around Retaliating C because you're searching Lunar Light always. I think Ash has been pretty disappointing. I don't think Ash is good against Zoo at all. Yeah. It's not. But you like have to play it because it's a hand trap, but it's a bad one. Well, you don't have to play yeah, it. Yeah, but most people do anyway. Like it's most of the time it's like an effect veiler. Yeah, but effect veiler sucks. Yeah. But 2017. Yeah, but the ghost actions most of the time the same against Zodiac. Yeah, like veiler was good in like 2011. Extra veiler. Yeah. <laughs> But Ash checks all the other decks in the format. Like it's yeah. Super good against True Draco Demise. It's alright. It's not that good. It's good against Demise. It's also good against Heritage if they draw 2 or 3 or yeah. against uh, Pot of Desires. Yeah, yeah, it's fair enough. It's good. I think it's incorrect to summon Tornado Drain because he can summon Emerald and shall use the effect by mm. using Dryden first. What do you mean? He could have uh, summoned Emerald instead of the Tornado Drain. Yeah. 
Yeah, I know. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't think why. I don't know why he did that. Okay. So by waiting there, he kind of indicates that he's also playing flangsies, because he's thinking about what to search. Maybe he just didn't find Maxi. He no, he had it right away. Okay. But yeah, I don't know if uh, Lawrence will catch that. Caught that. Um, so why do you th even tornado think drying? tornado drawing is correct to summon if you have the barrier set? Because if you have the barrier early, if he summons like Terror Top, you have to pop it with Dryden, then he normally summons Red, and then you have the barrier and your tornado drawing becomes useless. Mm -hmm. But if you summon Emerald, you have the plus one immediately, and if you use the barrier, you still have the Emerald on board to use next turn. And he does have the barrier, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, in that case, I think I don't like the Tornado Dragon here. That's like exactly what's going to happen here. Which spell trap is, is he afraid of, even? Barrage and Tanky don't do anything on their barrier. Maybe he wants to negate Dark Hall with Tornado Dragon. Hmm? Negate Dark Hall with Tornado Dragon. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's true. Okay. <laughs> there goes the Invoker. Yeah, now with some red. As expected. So do you bury it right away? I would l uh, let him use the foolish effect first and then bury him. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know what to know. Or maybe he lets him summon Bobo, yeah. It doesn't do anything. But it's in defense. Oh, so oh. Well. I think after seeing my opponent sending the combo, I don't mind just barriering immediately so he has less monsters. Yeah. Also just uh, being able to hit over the red in attack position for some damage and banishing it with Whiptail maybe. I think it makes sense. Yeah, I think it was correct to bury it earlier. Yeah. Um, we'll see if it matters. So Tornado Dragon becomes a vanilla. Well, it's still not bad because as soon as he sets something, the Tornado Dragon can just force something immediately on the turn. Yeah, but I think... But I still overall don't really agree with the play. There's a barrage. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> yeah, you can activate, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. Good, good. <laughs> yeah. I hope he re um the d barrier. Lit. Just read it again. Well, that's going to enable him to summon Tower Blade cycle a card if he wants and then still run over the Dryden. Maybe he changed Whiptail to Dryden. That'd be cool. Double Whiptail so it's bigger than <laughs> Thoroughblade. No? Okay. The very end 2017, so okay. relevant. True mm. Max here, I think. A monster for sure. So he summons before trying to force the back row, which is weird to me. Yeah. Did he pitch Maxi? Yeah. Okay. Well, now I, I now I like just attacking. Kind of. I think I would use Tornado Dragon On the face down or the barrage? Yeah, on the face down And if it's nothing, he could maybe go for an OTK But right now everybody is playing Triple Ghost Ogre So going for an OTK under Maxi is always Yeah, how do you even OTK in this spot? He probably can't because his Norton is gone no, he can't. He's still. Oh, the fusion subs vanished, yeah. yeah. Can't recycle it. Okay. So, Gold Rare Maxi, by the way, no wonder he drew it too late. He searched it with Vitality. Oh, that's right. Yeah, but he didn't draw it anyways, so. My point still remains. Hammer Kong. Trident, there it goes. 
face down's my body, right? Oh no. Um, his face down is my yeah. body. Oh, now he pops. That's smart. Yeah. And why did he set institution? I guess. Ah, you know, that's fair enough. He didn't want him to pop the barrage, maybe. Yeah, but instant fusion and barrage do the same thing. Next turn, they both give him the summon. Now we lost them both. He did draw another instant fusion of the maxi though, so that's fine. Draws tanky. Okay, so yes, tanky. Instant tanky and fusion. instant fusion versus Dryden and my, my body. body. That could work for him. Could yeah. get through. And he still has uh, his Luna combo, so if he draws. So that's an ultimate tanky, so I assume he's gonna pop it. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, it's ultimate. Like it gives 200 attack. Yeah. So just uh, six beast warriors. He could search a Yosenju Kama one. <laughs> Pair, effect. <laughs> All right. He's playing around well, my body. Uh, popping with the Dryden here, I think, is highly incorrect if he doesn't have another hand trap. Because then he loses to any normal summon. Well, he doesn't lose immediately. He can hope that he runs into my body with I his Dryden. I think the only time to Dryden the tanky is when your opponent just top deck the tanky and you know he doesn't have a Yeah, of course, summon. then it's easy, but like, in this spot, I mean. Like, it's so risky against a normal summon. Maybe it's because he has exactly four zoo cards in Grave, and if he pops the normal summon, that would make uh, no, combo in Grave it. life. Yeah, he drew Maxi, like I said. Okay. That hurts. I think you have to go on. Like if you pass, you lose. So we might see a Maxi challenge. Can you attack with the thing that you summoned with Norden? Yeah, you can. Yeah, right? Mm. What do you think about just attacking the Dryden? And maybe hoping he doesn't have another zoo? But he draw he still draws three cards, so he draws yeah. two for uh, with Maxi and one for Strawface. Yeah, that's fair enough. Probably still too many. It's weird. Maxi becomes even better this format because you draw other hand traps. So even though this game is going on for a while, it, it was pretty one-sided, I think. All the plays were obvious. That too, yeah. I, there wasn't any situation where you had to think hard. Yeah. The most plays were obvious. Like not summoning Dryden is probably wrong. And uh, d summoning Tornado Dragon under the barrier is also wrong. Okay, normal summon retaliating C. Um, I don't understand why he did that. Normal summoning you see? No, um, summoning three XYZ monsters if you are not going to a TK. He could yeah, have the tiger mortar is kind of unnecessary. He could have summoned the Trident over the tiger mortar, uh, over the um, throw blade. Yeah. And normal some people tell you can see and have the same result without giving his. Well, it would not have been big enough to run over the Tornado Dragon. But it can pop. Yeah. It was okay, yeah. I mean, there's a my body, so mm -hmm. maybe he's playing around that. But I mean, he's giving his opponent like what five cards now, and uh, there's still the my body to prevent the Dryden. Oh, he's popping. Ah, okay. Search for and see. Mhm. Mm he still doesn't need all of that material, though. Like the the one he could still have. One less material and be fine. Yeah. So did he attach Whiptail or is it red? Uh, this Whiptail. Okay. But I think he attached it from hand. 
I think the Thorough Blade was under it uh, from Norden Instant Fusion. So Tiger Mortar was completely unnecessary. I think so. Um, the only point for summoning Tiger Mortar is Zudia Combo in his grave. Well, I think does, he have does, does Fabio have an out to the Flying Sea though? Because that's an actual win condition. You can have uh, 10 cards in hand if you don't have an out to the Flying Sea, you can't play for now. He has Beverage in his hand. He does? Well, but he can bo pop the barrage with Dryden. Yeah. When when out is not enough. And uh, he can't prevent that with my body. My body. That's where Chalice would be better than my body. Additionally, um, f he drew anti spell frequency and Imperial Order, which will both be useless, I think. It's very mm -hmm. unlikely that they will impact the game. So maybe the reason for him going with that many XYZ materials is that if he now pops with Dryden, his Dryden is still strong enough strong enough to not be beaten by a normal summon Thorough Blade to double kill. So he keeps it on the board. So maybe it turns out to be smart. Like either way, Lorenzo should have enough time to come back Cause yeah can Th can Fabio win next turn I don't think so because uh, the uh, the flying sea is still on board how much and defense is flying sea 500 or 700 700, 700? and um, he has to attack over ram ram with whip turn so it doesn't respawn the zodiac no I th is it battle 2 yeah oh, okay I think so. Well, but he does have the whip tail already attached, so that's not an issue. Yeah, but he can't deal personal damage over the flying sea. He could also just go directly with the bow. <laughs> Why is he popping a tanky? Ah, so he can combo. Do you activate anti-spell fragrance right now? Because it also means you so can't... So what does he have? He has Imperial Order, anti-spell fragrance, my, my body, body is a shield, and... Verge. Verge? Yeah. Okay. He can't flip the Imperial Order because it turns out... Uh, turns down his... my body and his Verge. Mm -hmm. So here's the combo. So we might actually see... Him making a comeback here. Um, and there's also draw and lockbird in a sense, so after the combo he won't be yeah, able to. Yeah, but draw and lockbird won't, won't help him in outing that flying sea. Yeah. But it also means he probably won't get um, killed this turn. Yeah. But draw and lockbird is such a mediocre card in mid game. There's lockbird. Yeah, it's like a neck one if he doesn't have another search card. To ram ram banish. It's banished. For uh, what, 2400 damage? Yes. So Lorenzo down to 1900? Or Fabio? I don't know who's on the bottom. It also means uh, he can't crash his Flying Sea into Dryden anymore. Dryden is. Uh, flying Sea is 700. 700, 700 yeah. Yeah. He cannot crash. He ca cannot use Barrage because Dryden still has its effects. Well, he can, he can activate Barrage and then Dryden has to pop and then it's not 28 anymore. Yeah, then he okay. can crash. Yeah. If he sees that. But he also needs another Zodiac play. I don't know if he has that. And yeah. I don't know if it go will go through. He also won't be able to pay for my body anymore afterwards. In yeah, case that comes up. There's, there are two unknowns. <laughs> well, he's dead if he does that, right? Oh. Wait, it what? He didn't attack. He just turned it. Ah. Uh. Why did you turn it before flipping barrage? Confused. <laughs> what? Oh, nice try though. Now he knows. Attached to flying scene. 
Yeah, now you can crash. Not banished. 900 damage, so he's down at 1000. Can't even pay instant fusion anymore. Normal summon. Whiptail. Do you think it's smart to immediately go into Dryden's, so he plays around the barrier? Mm, not really. It doesn't really play around the barrier. Well, it does. Because well, he has to activate Dryden first, though. Then the opponent will just chain the barrier, and then he's still not ending on anything. Yeah. Hmm. There's bull. There's a barrier. And no, they are both on zero. I don't know why you barrier before letting them detach. Is there any particular reason? I don't think so. Cause Cause playing like around Dryden. Hmm? Playing around Dryden, maybe. You mean immediately on it without yeah. searching? Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. That's fair enough. That's fair enough. They might be in time. Oh yeah, they are in time. Terra top. Does that have a target? No. No. That's wow, he good. actually wins. Okay. Very intense. Very intense. But I think it was deserved, because. Uh, I think th it turned out to be good that he he had that many materials under Dryden. It was very important. Yeah. So maybe under Max he just felt like that was his win condition. Getting the flying seed to his hand, hoping your, his opponent wouldn't have yeah, it. Yeah, and the other guy also had like some apparent, mistake, some obvious mistakes. The tornado ring was 100% wrong. I think so. Yeah. Well, uh, they went to time a fair amount, so I'm not sure if we can bring you an interview because the next round is probably going to be starting soon. Yeah. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely be back soon. With so the we next will round. also not find out uh, which name. Which one? Which we guy can probably we, we can yeah. probably see on the next uh, pairings. Yeah, We're still undefeated. So yeah. So but yeah. Uh, for us over. Tune in for round five. <laughs>